This segment brought to you by the Western Kansas Wildlife Travel Center in Oakley. Well, folks, once more, it is time to count your chickens. And I know some of you are very familiar with the prairie chickens of Kansas and some of you not so much. And some of you may spend your time counting the prairie chickens. And the prairie chicken count just started. Let's take a look. Aerial surveys began a few days ago and continue through mid-May in five states, including Kansas, that contain lesser prairie chicken habitat. The surveys are conducted annually by the Western Association of Fish and Wildlife Agencies to document population trends and the species' response to management strategies identified in the Lesser Prairie Chicken Rangewide Conservation Plan. This survey is critical to provide annual estimates of the lesser prairie chicken population across five states, explained Roger Wolf, manager of the program. These population estimates help guide decisions related to conservation efforts targeting lesser prairie chickens and their habitat. The range-wide plan is a collaborative effort of the WAFWA and the Kansas Department of Wildlife, Parks, and Tourism, as well as state wildlife agencies in Texas, New Mexico, Oklahoma, and Colorado. It was developed to ensure the conservation of the lesser prairie chicken with voluntary cooperation of landowners and industry and allows agricultural producers and industry to continue operations while reducing impacts to the bird and its grassland habitat. The surveys will be conducted by helicopter in locations chosen at random within Lesser Prairie Chicken Range. Preliminary results from the 2018 surveys will be available beginning July 1st. Just last fall, the WAFWA finalized permanent conservation agreements with three private landowners to conserve more than 3,500 acres of high-quality Lesser Prairie Chicken Habitat in northwest Kansas. These were the first easements obtained in the shortgrass echo region, and the organization applauded the visionary landowners who are protecting and conserving the landscape as working ranches, ensuring they will be enjoyed by future generations. These easements will protect habitat that benefits a whole host of wildlife species, including the Lesser Prairie Chicken, this is another positive step toward establishing a stronghold for lesser prairie chickens in this area. The complex of properties is located near Smoky Valley Ranch in Logan County, which is owned and managed by the Nature Conservancy. The nearly 18,000-acre ranch is identified in the range-wide plan as a potential target around which a stronghold for lesser prairie chickens could be established. A stronghold is defined as a block of fairly contiguous grassland consisting of at least 25,000 acres that contains at least six mating areas for the birds. There must also be assurances that all the properties contributing to a stronghold will be protected from future development and managed in a way that is beneficial to lesser prairie chickens into the future. With additional easements, Smoky Valley Ranch and nearby permanently conserved properties could become a stronghold for the species. The Lesser Prairie Chicken Range-Wide Conservation Plan is available online. Welcome to Western Kansas Wildlife Travel Center right here in Oakley, Kansas on I-70 at exit 76. I-70, after all, is America's Main Street, and we're right here on Main Street for you. Now that I'm an Oakley resident, I still come in almost every day, and I sit and listen to the conversations of the people around me. You know, the guys who are talking about the big elk they just bagged, or the folks who are taking their kid to college for the first time. People just traveling up and down the highway. Real people, just like you and me. And they find just what I find here, real people to serve them. There's history, there's scenery. We hope you'll stop and see us soon. Welcome to Oakley.